You there. Yes, you, the viewer. Have you ever wanted to make a fight scene? Well, today I'm going to teach you. In about three minutes. Here's how to make an animated fight scene in about three minutes. Step one. Figuring out who's going to fight. The most important thing in an animated fight scene, besides the animation itself, is the characters fighting. For the sake of simplicity and time, I'm just going to choose this random red and gray character. Got it. Let's move on. Step 2. Rough sketches. So before you get any animation or motion done, the first thing you gotta do is plan out what actions are gonna happen. This is where you figure out all the choreography and specific movements that the characters are gonna do and you make little notes at the side. It doesn't matter, the drawings don't have to be pretty or anything, they're just there to get the job done and convey the motion. Step 3 and 4. Rough animation and rough in-betweens. Now that we have everything planned out, the next thing to do is do some motion. So what this means is we're basically going to take the poses from the first rough sketch and put more poses in between them to ease the motion a little bit. To make it look more like movement instead of still images going from place to place. During this process, we go between two poses and draw a new one in the middle to make it look more like movement and easing into the second pose out of the first pose. Repeat these two steps until you're satisfied with the rough movement of your characters. Step 5. Rough effect movement. The same principle from the last two steps applies here, except this time you're not making your characters move, you're making effects move. In this instance, I'm making clouds move right between their fists. So I take two of my cloud sketches, go in between them, and estimate what the cloud would look like going from this pose to the next pose. Like I said, the same principle applies to this step as the last two steps did, except this time we're not working with people, we're working with clouds or fire or water or whatever. Step 6. Yes, patience is the most important thing to have other than drawing skills as an animator. If you're not patient enough to sit at your desk for hours on end trying to complete a project, then you may as well not be an animator because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, animation isn't the job for people who like movement. Step 7. Camera movement. This process is pretty self-explanatory. You just take the virtual camera that you have and move it accordingly to your action. Whether you want the camera to trail behind or move ahead of the movement is completely up to the animator, aka you. But for this instance, I made the camera shake. To make the camera shake, all I did was move it around the canvas several times, and it makes it look like there's an actual earthquake going on in the video. So uh, for the sake of time, and since I didn't want this to be like a huge thing that I worked on, I didn't include coloring and line art, so uh, let's, let's just skip to sound effects. Step 8. Sound effects. So for sound effects, I just took a bunch of random sound effects from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure videos that I found on YouTube and put them into the video itself onto the timeline. And I made sure to line up the sound effects with the movement of the characters so it doesn't sound off. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the last step, so let's move on. Step 9. Enjoy. Well, there you go. You finally made an animated fight scene. You proud of yourself? I know I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for coming with me on this journey, and I hope your content looks good enough to post somewhere. Honestly, I'd be a little surprised if this tutorial helped anybody, since it's supposed to be like a school project and not really a tutorial tutorial. So, if this did help anybody make fight scenes, I'd be very proud of it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm probably never gonna upload anything like this again, unless you want me to. I'm pretty sure this is the part where I ask you to like and subscribe if you like the tutorial, but this is gonna be shown to my classmates and I, I don't know how they'd react if I was plugging my channel right now, so uh, bye.